What's up? It's Coach J Pro back with another round of reflex bag workouts. Let's go. You know what time it is today. We have core and combos round three. I know, I know ab training isn't everyone's favorite, but we're not doing 10,000 crunches. It's just quick work because I promise you a little bit of core training goes a long way. So you don't need your gloves on yet. Just make sure your area is cleared out. You got your sneakers on. We're gonna jump into a warm up in 10 seconds. All right, just about ready for our warm up. It's always good to just take a second to shake it out let go of any stressors or things that we were worrying about today. This is your time now for these next four rounds. Huge shout out to Camille and Tyrone for posting pics and videos and tagging J Pro Jabs. I love to see it. It's literally my motivation to keep putting out these workouts when I know people are benefiting every week. So thank you. Can't wait to see more and more people come out posting pics and videos of them doing their workout. We're gonna go right into a boxer bounce for 30 seconds because I'm just getting excited thinking about people doing these workouts. So we're just gonna run with that. You know, we're in our stance and we're just shifting our weight from lead to rear. Remember, it's not up and down, it's shifting. It's more of a twisting motion on the balls of our feet. Okay, now that I've settled down, we can go into arm circles, going backwards for 30 seconds and just posting anything. It doesn't have to be footage of you, but it's cool when it is. I don't expect anyone to look like a pro boxer, just the fact that you're out doing it is what's really awesome to me. 10 seconds here. You're out going for it, using boxing as a force for good. Okay, so now we're gonna go right into a little quad stretch. So if you want, you can grab your bag for balance, right foot goes back and then you're using your right arm to just pull your leg back so you feel a nice stretch throughout the quad. Now we're gonna switch. 10 seconds here. All right, 30 seconds. We're gonna go right into jumping jacks, full extension. Don't sleep on me on the warm up. It's only a four round workout, and I promise you, the more you go with warm ups, the more you're gonna get out of the four rounds. So let's really start moving now. Pretend I was in your living room with you. All right, last minute, it's a little freestyle shadow boxing. So moving around your space, put your punches together, anywhere from one to four at a time. So throw a one, two, three, and then switch, a two, a one, two, anything that you want. All right, if this is your first time doing a reflex bag workout, welcome, all you need to know is that you're gonna be in your stance with your dominant foot and hand in the back. So for me, I'm a righty, my right leg and my right arm are in the back with that back leg just out in front, chin tucked, eyes on my target. We've got the one, that's the lead straight. Two is the rear straight. Three is the lead hook. Four is the rear hook. Five is the lead uppercut. Six is the rear uppercut. The hand that isn't punching is always protecting your chin. And that's all you need to know to get started. So grab a sip of water. We jump in around one in one minute. Okay, so we're getting our gloves on. We're getting ready for round one. As always, all of these workouts are designed to be done with the reflex or Cobra bag, but you can get the same effect following along with any equipment that you have. If it's a heavy bag, a double end bag, or nothing at all, just shadow boxing the movements, you're gonna get the same effect. So whatever it is you're using, let's get ready to get after it. We're gonna start round one in 30 seconds. Also just dropped a new video, my top five key reflex bag training tips. 
check that out. Even if you've had your bag for like a year, it's always good to get a refresher on some technique pointers, some form pointers, some mindset pointers, which is usually the most important thing, your mindset, not being afraid to fail. We touch on that. And we also touch on the different ways that you can be boxing. If you're boxing for weight loss, for strength, for technique, it's gonna approach how you train. So definitely check that out, but not right now, because right now we're going right into a flow, one, two, for 30 seconds. Anytime we're flowing, we're planted in place, and nice soft taps with the one, two. Doesn't have to be full extension here. In fact, it shouldn't be full extension here because we're just conditioning the shoulders, practicing that close range, that active recovery. All right, so now we're gonna step out. We're just gonna work a one, one for 30 seconds. If you're newer, it's gonna be helpful if you stand in place. It's gonna help you to get the rhythm down. If you've had some experience, I'd recommend moving all around your bag, switching up your angles. And don't forget to breathe. Okay, next 30 seconds, we're just going to a one, two. If you're wondering, I threw away my last pair of contacts before my new ones got here. So I'm partially blind, but that's not gonna stop me from getting our workout going this week. Ice, ice. One, two. Ice, ice. <clears throat> All right, let's get down and let's go right into crunches. I like to put those legs up, have my neck nice and relaxed, squeezing my core to raise up my upper torso. I don't wanna be pulling on my neck here. I want my neck nice and relaxed. And I'm just using my abs to lift up my upper torso. In three, two, and one. Okay, our combination, we're gonna put those two movements together. The combo is gonna be a one, 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 two. One, 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 two. Anytime the combo is a little bit longer, that last shot is gonna be the power shot. So think speed on those first three ones. Put a little bit of sauce, a little bit of juice on that too. Let's go. Something I notice that I do, whenever it's a power shot, I notice my breathing changes a little bit. Something that helps me just kind of get in the zone to trigger that power shot. Ten seconds here. And time. That's it for round one. Quick sip of water. We jump into round two in one minute. Woo! How are we feeling? I don't know about you, but I feel amazing. This is my happy place. This is where I'm just not worrying. I just feel free to move and be myself. I hope you're having that same effect. And if you haven't tapped into that mind body, then shoot me a DM on Instagram. Let's talk, let's, let's make sure that we can get you there because it took me a while to get there. But once you can get into that place where you're not thinking and you're just moving with your bag, that's what boxing for wellness is all about. Now, going into round two, we're gonna switch up the format a little bit. We're gonna do something this is gonna be kind of fun. We're going to mix up our range. So our ab exercise is gonna be at the end, don't worry about that. But for the intervals before, everything is gonna be at a combination pace, but we're either gonna be working an outside combo or an inside combo. So if you have the space for it, when I call for the outside combo, every punch you wanna be as far away from your bag as possible, and then inside, you come up close. So first, we're gonna start with the outside combo. We're gonna go right back to that one, 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 two. Remember, you wanna be as far away from your bag as possible, and obviously you go with the speed and power that you're comfortable with. One, 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 two. 
range and footwork, super important in boxing. And the reflex bag is a really nice way to practice those things. All right, now we're gonna go right into the inside combo. So we're getting right up close to our bag and it's just gonna be a three, four. Now that inside combo, if your bag can take it, and if your timing is there, it's fun to put a little power. I think Mike Tyson working the inside. One more. Yes. Okay, outside combo. This time it's gonna be a one, two, one, two. So as far away as you can. Me, I prefer to work speed. You know my thinking. I'm speed over power. This, 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 this. Point A to point B before your opponent. One more. All right, inside. Now it's just gonna be a five, six. Nice and close. Fifteen seconds here. One more. All right, last minute. We're gonna go right into a high plank. So the arms lock directly under your shoulders. Keep that upper back as high as you can, and you wanna squeeze your core. And this is it, a little bit of core training. It goes a long way. You don't have to wake up and do, and do 10,000 sit-ups every day. I promise you don't. A little bit of core training, some mild suffering, and I don't have my contact, so I can't tell you how long we have left, but I'm guessing it's about 10 seconds. And if I'm wrong, finish the round. Don't cheat because I can't see. Oh no, I lied, now it's 10 seconds. Just hold it, we're almost there. We're almost at the halfway point. Let's go, you got it, you got it. And time. Yep, time. Forgive the squinty eyeballs, grab a sip of water. We go into the second half in one minute. Oh yeah, second half. Doesn't time just fly when you're having fun, throwing bombs and holding planks for extended periods of time? Now I'm just kidding, you're doing great. We're moving, we're getting a great workout in just 20 minutes. So as always, we keep going strong. If you haven't looked in the mirror and flexed today, this is what that looks like, or one of these. But that's the mindset. That's how you wanna feel every day. And I'll admit, sometimes it's easier said than done. But usually for me, getting some work done or getting a workout, those are the things that help with that mentality. So hopefully you're on the same page because in 20 seconds, we're gonna go into the second half, round three, and the good news is round three, it's just punches. We're gonna take a round off from the abs and we're gonna go back to that range drill. We're gonna work outside, inside, outside, inside with a freestyle at the end. So let's get up to our bag. We're gonna start with the outside and the combo is gonna be a one, two, two. Remember, as far away from your bag as you can when you're working outside. You go at the speed and power in which you're comfortable. And once you start to let that mind-body take over, you just let it fly. Seven seconds. Okay, inside. Nice and tight. Get to know your bag a little bit. Like you're Tyson. You're kind of cornering him in the ring. We're gonna work a three, three. Put a little sizzle on it for me. You're battling here. Keep those hands up, because that bag is gonna fight back. We know it's gonna fight back. Hiss, hiss. Hands up. You gotta body it a little bit. It's all right, get to know your bag here. All right, outside, let's go. It's a one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's work speed and range. Hiss, 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 hiss. Woo. Hiss, 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 hiss. 
Nice. You want to throw a couple extra jabs to help control your bag? Nothing wrong with that. Five seconds. Okay, back on the inside. Four, four now. Hands up. That bag is gonna fight back. It's the only bag in boxing that fights back. Double end bag does a little bit, but not quite the same. Hands up. Four, four. Remember, your, your power is coming from your lower body. Upper body nice and relaxed. Okay, last minute, it's a freestyle. Just listen for my cue. If I call outside, like now, all your punches from the outside. Or if I say inside, anything you want up close. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Watch your head. Outside, 30 seconds. Inside. Outside. Anything you want. These freestyles are where you should feel yourself improving week over week. Your timing should be a little bit better. Inside. That's what I'm talking about, time. Okay, we made it to the fourth and final round. And like usual, it's gonna be a tough one because we're starting this round with two minutes straight of core. But don't stress it, because I'm gonna be there every step of the way. It's gonna burn, but it's gonna feel really good when we're done, because it's beach season. We gotta, we gotta get after it. And it just takes these last three minutes that are gonna make all the difference. So, get nice and comfy on the floor. We're gonna start with sit-ups, then we're gonna go to leg raises, high plank, low plank, and then we're gonna end with a minute combination combining some outside and some inside movement. It's gonna be fun, but we gotta get through the burn first. We gotta get through it in 10 seconds. Let's go, give it your all here. Let's earn that delicious meal trying to think what I was gonna get for dinner, but I'm not sure yet. Starting with sit-ups for 30 seconds. Remember, I'm not pulling my neck here. My neck is relaxed. I'm just squeezing my core and using my abs to raise my upper torso. Keep going, 10 seconds here. I know, I feel it too. Make sure you're breathing, same as when we're punching. Okay, gloves right underneath the butt. Legs straight out in front of you, toes point away. Squeeze the core and raise those legs. Nice and slow and controlled on the way down, explosive on the way up. Explode up, control down. Woo. Three seconds here. You got it, I'm with you. Okay, turn over. We go right back to high plank. The arms are directly underneath my shoulders. Back is straight up. Core is tight. Ten seconds. Woo! Try to hold. Try to hold it if you can. Lower yourself right down into a low plank. Try to keep that back flat. This is the last 20 seconds of burn that you're gonna feel today. And then we're gonna end with a fun combo. It's gonna be an outside, inside, outside. We're working some footwork today. I'm trying to distract you from how much it's burning right now because it's just five seconds left here. And up. Woo. Okay, last minute of the day. It's gonna be an outside one, two, one, two, inside three, six, outside two. 
So let's break that down. Outside, one, two, one, two. Inside, three, six. Back outside, two. One more time. Outside, one, two, one, two. Inside, three, six. Outside, two. That's the power shot. Take your time here, this is a tricky one. One more. Inside, three, six, outside, two. Psych, we got time for one more. Make it count. And time. Don't forget to flex on them. Nice work. I'm pumped up because you just made it through this four round core and combos workout. Don't forget to stretch, hydrate, tell your friends, like the workout, comment. Any pics or videos posted, I wanna repost on my page. Tag me at jprojabs. Hope you have a great rest of the week and I'll see you again real soon. It's, 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 it's.